everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to walk through an exciting integration of N810 chat app into a website. For this demo we will be using a simple React app built for a restaurant called IMAX restaurant. Imagine your customers asking about your menu items or today's special and getting instant answers through the AI power chat. Here we have a demo React app for IMAX restaurant. So we are going to integrate a chat interface that leverages N810 workflow to manage incoming messages, process them through an AI agent and then generate response using the OpenAI chat model with a window buffer memory for context. Okay, so the very first step is to create a chat trigger. That will be the starting point, chat trigger. Okay, so here is the trigger for our application. The next thing is we will add is an AI agent. And the input for this will be the chat input, whatever we are sending in through the chat. This AI agent will work based on a chat model. So we have to connect our model here. That will be open AI for now. You can use any other model and once this interface will open you have to connect with your open air credentials i have already created one so that's open air account for me and i'll select the model for now as google gemini so this is the model that we will be using to return the responses next thing is we will add a memory so for memory i'll use windows buffer memory so that it will store the history and the context window length i'll set it as five that is the default okay so this is how our interface will look like for the n let's test it out okay so it was quite fast and if you can see we dropped a message hi and the response was hi there how can i help you today so as you can see the memory is used to store all the input and the responses from the ai and you can see all the logs here like how the ai agent started it went to windows buffer memory input then it went to chat then once the response was generated it added the output so this is how the application is working and let's integrate this to our react app for now so for this demo we will be using a simple react app that i have developed let me start it okay so this is the demo for our n chat application as you can see that in this website we don't have a chat for now or there is no button that we can use to chat so to add it, I'll go to the code. Here is my code and we'll start adding few libraries. Before we add the library, make sure that you have npn install n and chat. I'll put all the details in the description below. So, okay, I'm assuming all the libraries are installed for React and n and chat is also installed. We'll be importing it and once it is imported we can initialize the n chat application widget so that will basically load the data we can add it and this is the webhook url that you want to change so for now i will use my webhook url okay so this application was completed in n and it was working fine we saw but to make sure that this is working with the re restaurant application, we need to make sure that the workflow is active. We'll activate the workflow, go to the chat message trigger, make the chat public available, and here is the URL. We'll go to our VS code and add this URL here. So we have added this URL and we need to make sure that we are calling the n and chat widget also. So that will be just a simple div where the chat will be popped. I'll add it just before the photo section. We will save it. Okay, as you can see that there is a button now. 
to chat with our interface that we have just built. So this is the custom message that we have added in the code. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. That's the initial message. I'll give you the documentation so you can edit it as per your choice. So let's try. Okay, so our bot is working and the chatbot is able to respond back. But let's see how much it is correct. So I'll ask some questions like what are the items on menu? Okay, so this was just a chatbot that we initialized. So it unfortunately do not have any access to the menu. So we need to add menu level details to it. So we'll go back to an Anytime application and go to the agent and add an option of system message. So you can see that this is just a simple helpful assistant message but we'll remove it and add a custom message that will have the details for our menu as well for example I'll show you the system prompt that I've created okay so here is the prompt that I have created if you see so you are a helpful assistant that has I mean Okay, if you can see, you are a friendly and knowledgeable chat assistant for IMAX restaurant and bar. Your role is to help users explore our menu, answers questions about our dishes and all. So this is the menu overview, starters, then we have main course, then we have bread and rice, then we have desserts. <clears throat> Similarly, we have our today's special item that is signature biryani special. And we have some additional guidance to our model, how it responds back to the user query. Okay, so this is done. We will just try to refresh our React app and see if it works. So, okay, hello there, welcome to IMAX Assistant in Bar. I'm here to explore your menus and items and all. Okay, let's ask this question again. What are the items on menu? Okay, nice. So now you can see that it has clearly our menu. So this is the starter, main course, bread and rice, desserts, beverages. Fine. So we'll ask more question like, what's special for today? Great question. Today's special is our signature biryani. 